Sometimes you need to graft live stitches together, like toes of a sock. And Kitchener Stitch is a great thing to do for that. Hi, welcome to Sherry Knits. I love knitting and I want you to love it too. Today, I'm going to show you how to do Kitchener Stitch on stockinette stitch. Let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at Kitchener Stitch. And today we're going to do it on stockinette stitch fabric. So we've got our two pieces that we want to join together. Kitchener Stitch is a great way to graft live stitches, to connect live stitches so that it leaves no seam. It's just really smooth and nice. I think I probably use Kitchener Stitch, most of all um, grafting toes of socks, but there's other um, applications for it. But it's really nice to make a nice smooth seam or not a seam, but a join at the toe of a sock. So let's take a look at Kitchener Stitch on these two pieces. What you want to do is have your stitches divided evenly onto two needles and they're lying one in front of the other. This is the front needle and this is the back needle as we talk through things. So what we're going to do is two setup stitches and then we have four things that we're just going to repeat through. We have a chart of with four lines that we're going to repeat and I'm going to share that with you later, but for now I'm just gonna talk it through with you. So we wanna measure out a tail and you usually wanna allow about an inch per stitch to be grafted or you can take your yarn and do three times the width of the piece is also a good way to do it. Although I always do three times the width and then I add a fourth just to be safe so that I've got plenty of room to do this. Today, I'm going to show you how to do it with some yarn that's a different color just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But normally you would just take the yarn that's coming right from your project. And it doesn't matter, I don't think, if it's coming from the back needle or the front needle, you, you'll you start with the front needle, but I think it, I've done it before taking the yarn from the back. So the reason I'm using this different colored yarn today is just so that you can see what I'm doing as we do the Kitchener stitch. So let's do the two setup stitches and I'm gonna hold the needles. I like to hold them like this, front needle here, back needle, kind of wedged in between my fingers here. And I'm going to go through the front needle as if to purl. And I'm going to leave that stitch on the needle and just pull the yarn through, leaving a little bit of a tail. And then I'm going to go through the back needle as if to knit. Now you always want to work under the needles and keep things nice and neat underneath. So back as if to knit, pull it through, but leave that stitch on. And when you're working across, you don't need to pull things too tight and get things perfect with each go through with each stitch. You can go back later and make things look prettier. So let's go ahead and do three or four uh, stitches and then we'll go back and I'll show you how to tighten it up. So now let's go through our, our chart the four different rows of the chart. It's front needle as if to knit and take it off. And then front needle as if to purl, leave it on. And once I've done those two things, I'm gonna pull it through. And then I'm going to do back needle as if to purl and take it off. And then the back needle as if to knit and leave it on and I pull this through. And so you can see I'm keeping the yarn underneath and I'm not pulling things too tight quite yet. Let's do it a couple more times. Front needle as if to knit, take it off. Front needle as if to purl, leave it on. Back needle as if to purl, take it off. Back needle as if to knit, leave it on and then pull through. Okay, front needle as if to knit. There we go. Take it off. 
front needle as if to purl, leave it on. Back needle as if to purl, take it off. Back needle as if to knit, leave it on. Okay, so we've gone through our chart three times. So let's stop and take a look at how things are looking. And I'm gonna push things closer to the tips there so my stitches don't come off. So right now it's pretty loose. That's okay, don't worry about that. What we're going to do is go back to the beginning and we're just going to tighten these stitches up so they look about the same size as the stitches that we created when we did our knitting. And so see how I'm just pulling that and then going to the next one and pulling, pulling, pulling. And now I can actually just pull this one and pull it tight. So you can see right here, there's our first couple stitches that we worked in Kitchener Stitch. So the goal is to get them the same size as the stitches that they're, they're coming out of. All right, so we can keep going. Now, as you're using the chart that I'm going to share with you, you want to make sure that you're doing Kitchener Stitch. Um, I like to do it early in the morning, so my brain is working better. I like to do it when there's no distractions, turn the music off, turn the radio off, tell your family and friends to give you a minute and, and be by yourself. Make sure you've had your cup of coffee for the day. And also, as you're going through the chart, don't stop in the middle of the chart. Make sure you complete the four steps of the chart before you stop and tighten things up and you'll have better success. So now let's do a few more. And we're going through the front needle as if to knit. And we're gonna take that one off. And then the back knee, or the, sorry, the front needle as if to purl, leave it on. Pull your stitches through or your yarn through. Back needle as if to purl, take it off. Back needle as if to knit, leave it on. And I'm gonna to be totally honest with you. Kitchener is not intuitive to me. I still, after mm, over 35 years of knitting, use my cheat sheet to do Kitchener stitch and that's okay. So here we go. Front needle, knit, take it off. Front needle, purl, leave it on. Back needle, purl, take it off. Back needle, knit, leave it on. And then purl your yarn through. All right, so let's keep going across until we get to the last couple stitches. And then I'll show you what to do at the end. All right, I'm getting to the end here. I just have a couple more stitches left to do. Knit off, purl on, purl off, knit on. And then we have knit off, purl on, Curl off, knit on. Okay, now I'm down to just two stitches on here. And so when we did the setup at the beginning, we did two leave ons, and now we're going to do the two take off. So we're gonna do the front needle as if to knit, and we're gonna take it off, and then the back needle as if to purl, and also take that off, and then put your needles aside. Excellent, and pull that through. One thing I forgot to mention at the beginning is be careful of your tail. As you're working the yarn through, make sure that you're keeping your tail as short as possible so that you don't get a double strand of 
yarn through there, it makes it a little harder to make the stitches more consistent when that happens. So be aware of your tail and try to keep it as short as possible, but still comfortable to work it through. And so you can see where we started here. And I, as I went along, I stopped every, oh, four or five stitches maybe, and tried to get things as consistent as possible. So now we're going to come to these stitches and do the same thing, just pull, and tighten those up as you go across. It's actually pretty easy to do. And then the opposite of that, you know, right now I'm being super loose and my stitches need to be tightened up, but if you pull too tight when you do the Kitchener stitch, you can also go back across. You know, if you pull this too tight and then you can't even see those stitches, you can go back and loosen them up a little bit and work that excess over as you need to. So here's Kitchener stitch, flat and stockinette stitch. This would also work in the round if you were joining for a sock. And it's actually kind of cool. You could make fancy toes on your socks if you use a different color, like those fancy brands of socks. So give it a try. You can do this. You are the boss of your knitting, Kitchener stitch, you can be the boss of that too. I'll see you next time. If you'd like to download that cheat sheet I kept talking about, click the link below and you'll be able to do that for free. Also check out our creative community. Help us to continue to make these free knitting videos. We really need your help. Click the link below for that also. See you next time.